Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another tutorial for summer red flowers earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing them step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free tutorials like this. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this one. You could check description for useful resources and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Let's continue. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads and they are turquoise, white, light pink, dark pink and red. You could use others of your choice. And I'm using two 8 o beads where I put my jump rings and after that my earring findings. They are not obligatory, you could attach your earring findings only with seed beads but I prefer to do it this way. Here I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to so 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread, similar size, but for this one don't use soft nylon thread because the shape won't be good. It will be moving around. Now I'm using here size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 if you want to be easier for you, but I handle it with size 10. I'm using scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And I'm starting my work guys by picking up 12 of these beautiful turquoise beads. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot when I pull gently I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from okay in my next step I want to go through some beads in this direction and pull like this. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads. I need to take five white beads. Okay, I have them. And as I'm exiting through one of my turquoise beads, I skip the next one. Okay, you see I'm exiting out of this one. I skip this one and I go through the following. Five again, skip one and go through the following, five, do the same thing, and continue this three more times until the end. Okay, and these are the last five beads that I'm taking and I go in the very first turquoise bead where I started my whole row from. It is the first one and the last one that I'm going through. Now what I want to do is to go through two white beads in this direction. And I'm going to take seven of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, I have seven of them. I skip the one that's sticking out the most and I go through the following. Now you see what I have here. Seven beads on top of the five whites. One turquoise bead. 
and go through the second white counting from the center. I have seven here. Skip the one that's sticking out the most, the middle of the five beads, the middle one, and I go like this, pulling one turquoise. Go again through the second white bead, counting from the center. Seven pink beads. Again, skip the central one and go through the following. And I will continue these guys step by step until the end of this row. Okay, and at my last step, I go again through the second white bead counting from the center. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, what I want to do is go through these three light pink beads and then I want to go through the central one of the seven beads that I added. How I know this is the central one. Here I have one, two, three and one, two, three. So this one is the central. Now I want to take the following sequence. Two dark pink beads, seven red beads and two dark pink beads. Okay, this is what I take on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. And I'm going here in the central one of my next seven light pink beads. Okay, this is what I do. Okay, and I have here the same sequence, which is two dark pink beads seven red beads and two dark pink beads and I'm going to slide it down then I'm going in the middle one of the seven pink beads the one that is sticking out the most okay okay and I have two dark pink seven reds and two dark pink beads and I go here in the middle pink one. Okay, guys, and I will continue these three more times and meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat it from this side three more times. See you in a while. Okay, and I'm here at my last step where I take the same sequence. I always double check. And I go here in the last pink one of this row and now I have this. In my next step guys what I want to do is go through these two dark pink beads and I'm going to take a dark pink and four red beads so five beads in total and I'm going here through the fourth red bead one two three four white through the fourth because this is the middle one of the seven reds that I added in my previous row. Here I have three before this 
and 3 after this, so it is the middle one. And I pull. Now I take the other way around, 3 reds and 1 dark pink. Why? Because I want the reds to be next to my red part and the dark pink to be next to the dark pink part. And I go through the first dark pink. Now I have this. Take one turquoise. Skip the first dark pink and go through the following. So through the second dark pink. Okay. Now I'm taking one dark pink and four red beads, five in total. And I go through the fourth red bead counting from the dark pinks. Then I need five again, but first I take the four red beads and then the dark pink and I go at the same place through the first dark pink. I need one turquoise. And I go here through the second dark pink and pull. One dark pink, four red beads, go through the fourth red, the central one. Four reds, one dark pink, go in the first dark pink. Then a turquoise one and go in the second dark pink. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this three more times and meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here and you'll be okay. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence of five beads. Then I need to add the last turquoise and pay attention where I add it. Here again at the second dark pink bead, don't make the mistake to go through the third one. I was doing similar mistake when I was a beginner. Okay, then what I want to do is go in this direction through four beads in total through the pink and through three red beads okay i'm one red bead away from the angle here and what i need to take here guys are five red beads and i go symmetrically at the same place one red bead away from the angle you see where I go and I pull then what I want to do is go in this direction through as many beads as I can then through the turquoise and here in this direction until you reach one red bead away from the angle and take five red beads and go one red bead away from the angle then go through all of those beads in this direction aiming for the turquoise and reaching the next petal five beads again go here in the same place one bead away from the angle okay continue this two more times and meet me for the last okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add my last 
five beads from this row and what I take for the last step I take two red 11 ounce seed beads one red 8 o and two red 11 ounce so five in total again but in the middle I have 8 o instead of 11 o and as I'm exiting here one bead away from the angle I go in the same place one bead away from the angle why I'm adding a bigger bead here at my last step I will tell you in a while let's make now a knot and finish almost finish our work okay I'm here at this angle make a loop go once go second time through the loop I've made and pull then go through the following two beads and after cutting my thread guys it's time to add my earring finding okay you see how cool it looks now and now I'm going to take my work and my jump ring I will open this one up with my pliers and I want to put it here in this bigger bead and then I'm going to take my jump ring put it here and I'll squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my summer big red flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for this you could check description for full list of materials other useful resources like similar tutorials also a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them and share them on my community tab on youtube you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check out in description thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching